Let's not jump right into the marriage. Let's do some dating. It sounds to me like we also need to focus on discipline. Actually, I'm hearing a couple of things. One, if I don't know what I want, it's going to be really hard to find that Huge. hire. It's so important to be really clear about what you want. Now, as an agency, when companies come to me, I ask them the you know five why five times uh -huh. to really get to what their true needs are, because it's very easy to come in and say we want social media. Mm -hmm. why? Great, but why? Yeah. Um, and we, we, it's painful at times, but we dig a little deeper into mm -hmm. that. It's very interesting to me that we take, we don't take the same approach when we hire employees. If we go to an agency, they're going to force us to express our big why. The good agencies will, <laughs> as uncomfortable as may be. Yep. When, you, when we hire employees, they, they don't feel free to dig into our big right. why. That's right. So it's really important that we we take that time up front before we even write the job description to really think what we truly need um, and what person would be a good fit for our team and our culture and so on. Yeah, I just want to throw one thing in there. When you're hiring employees, the job posting is critical. In the same way that you wouldn't post your, your product brochure as you know an advertising to get someone to, to buy your product. Posting your job description on a, on a job board is not the right solution. A job posting is designed to attract your ideal um, employee. And so you want to talk about who that person is and why they're right for this job and what the challenges are that they're going to be able to engage in. And if they conquer those challenges, what the rewards are going to be, right? You want them to be the hero of the job posting so that you attract people who really want that challenge. And it should be the same with an agency, right? Yes, so for sure. With agencies, the process usually starts with an RFP or with a request for proposal. And that in itself kind of derails us from, right. from that journey. Yeah, that's sort of like posting your job posting, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of those RFPs is like copying a job posting from somebody else yes. and, and using it as your own. A lot yeah. of these RFPs are, are the same way. So, Brad, yeah. what's a better way to do this? So we talk about how to do it in when you hire an employee. What's a better way to hire an agency? When I am going to hire an agency, what I want to say first is what is the outcome I'm looking for? This is the thing that I want to have improved. This is what it's going to look like. If we work together and we achieve success, it's going to look like this. And then I want to go ahead and say, here are the obstacles to getting there. You know, we've tried this and it didn't work. We don't have this, you know, our budget is this. Um, I, I know you're going to want to see these tools. We don't have those tools. You know, internally, we have a, our decision making processes like this. I want to let them know what are the challenges that they need to overcome in order to, to accomplish that. And then I want to hear from them other situations in which they've encountered similar challenges and gotten a result like we're looking for. Right. And so mm -hmm. instead of doing an RFP, I want to I want to kind of open the kimono and tell them what they're getting into and then just let them come in and say, OK, given that here's the approach that we would look at, here's what we would see. The other thing that I like in hiring an agency is not to, you know, maybe the agencies aren't gonna like me for saying this, but the first thing you sign shouldn't be a one-year retainer, right? Let's not jump right into the marriage. Let's do some dating. Like, here's a project maybe we should start with, or maybe there's an evaluation phase where, where I need to pay you a little bit of money to get you to look at the problem in more detail because I expect that the expert is going to see things that I'm not going to see. And I want to hear that from the agency. I don't want them to pair it back to me. Oh yeah, that's exactly the right project or tactic or whatever. I want them to say, well, you consider this and what about this? And look, you do have some assets here that, that you aren't telling us about. Like, I want to give them a chance to pull all that together for me. So a key thing here is if you're going to hire an agency, don't hire a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's right. exactly right.